Hello everybody and welcome to this video by the Vaidya's Chess Hub and this video is special for many reasons. Uh, number one that I'm using a 3D board here to demonstrate this game. I'm going to show you a game today played by my student and that's a special thing. Uh, she is rated 1600, 1650 somewhere in that region and the reason I want to show this game in this video is especially for beginners and intermediate players uh, they will learn such a great deal from this game. This game was in the Philidor defense. She was playing the white pieces. And the reason uh, I have chosen this particular game of hers is because of the simplicity in the opening. It's a very common query, a frequently asked question, how to conduct the openings. And there's your answer. So I would strongly suggest you go through this game and you will learn a great deal from this game. So let's get started. She opened the game with 1e4 and her opponent played 1e5. It would be a good thing to tell you that the opponent was rated, uh, I think, 1430, somewhere, 1430, 1450. So she was expected to win. She was uh, a higher rated player, but the way, uh, you know, it, with which she won this game is interesting. The game continued, knight to f3, and as I mentioned, it was a Philly door defense, so d6. Bishop to c4. Now notice that she's already here ready to castle. Black played knight to c6. She immediately, at the first possible opportunity, castled. Black played bishop to d7. Now here she decided to break the center. She played d4. Black took with the knight. She recaptured with her knight. Black recaptured with the pawn. And finally, queen takes d4. After this move, uh, black played queen e7. I think the idea black player had in mind was to castle long. Uh, many people, especially beginners, love the long castling because the rook comes into play on the on the, on the d file. She continued her development with knight to c3, normal piece development. I think the knight is targeting d5. So what happened in this game after this is what was played. Um, she, the, the opponent here, I suppose, made an inaccuracy. B6 was played. She continued with her plan to attack the queen. And if you notice, the threat is uh, attack on the queen, of course, but she also wants to play knight takes c7, which will be fork, and she will be able to win the rook. So black saved the queen and prevented the fork, went back to d8 with the queen, and after this, there was a fantastic move. This was probably a very good idea. She played bishop to g5, sacrificing a bishop. Well, the idea is if queen takes g5, knight takes c7. So she wanted to di divert the queen uh, onto different square, deflect it. And so knight takes c7 would be possible. Black simply played f6 because I suppose black saw the threat knight takes c7. Bishop f4 was played indeed, and after this, um, it's Black's turn to play, and Black played the move Bishop to e6. She then brought the Rook to the d file, uh, strengthening the d file. She already has her Queen there, and now Black chose to attack the Queen, playing c5, and it was here that. Uh, really the thing started to happen. She noticed that the pawns were on a7, b6, c5, d6. So there's weakness on this on these light squares. So she played the move bishop to b5 check. Of course black blocked the check with the bishop and notice that the queen is hanging here but it was a check earlier so black couldn't take the queen and now she played queen to a4. Black took and white recaptured with a check. So bishop uh, was captured, queen takes b5 check, and here black played queen to d7. And now th we all know the tactics, the pins and the skewers and the forks. The idea is to implement them in the game while you're playing a game. And so the next move was really impressive. She played knight to c7 check. Notice that the queen is pinned here, the queen cannot take the knight. And of course, the king cannot go to f7 because then the queen would be hanging. So, black played the move king to e7. 
And then she continued her attack with bishop takes, d6 check. The king cannot leave the queen, remember, because the queen is hanging. So there was no other choice but to go back to d8 square. And then bishop takes f8. Notice that this rook is spinning the queen to the king. So king took on c7. And now here, I like the way she finished the opponent quickly without much um you know greed for winning more and more material she's just finished it off in style rook takes d7 check uh the king was played to c8 and now it's mate in two i think you should pause the video and find the mate in two from this position you can do it now white to play and mate in two if you had paused the video i'm sure you came up with the right answer it is indeed queen c6 check the only move is king b8 and queen b7 is checkmate indeed now what i like about this game was really the simplicity with which the game was conducted all the pieces were developed look at the pawns over here king is safely on g1 castle to safety and overall it was a fantastic game i'm sure you um, enjoyed that on the 3d this is the first time we're doing a video on a, using a 3d board and it was really fun to do this as i always say keep playing keep enjoying keep learning and thank you so much for watching this video